Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Anchor's A20i wireless earbuds. Though, I've already reviewed the A20 wireless earbuds. Those are the kind with a low dongle. These are the pure earbuds, the round ones that stick inside your ear. I'll show you the differences in a minute. This is Anchor's new budget-friendly basic line of wireless earbuds. No noise cancellation, but you get good battery life, good sound, AI-controlled noise cancellation, and more at a very affordable price. We're gonna be looking at the pros and cons of this and break it all down. First, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit sent to me. I did buy this with my own money to review for you. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly. I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to this in the show notes and in the first pin comment to it on Amazon. There you can find current pricing. If I don't happen to answer any questions you may have, leave me a comment, let me know. I'll love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families, hopefully helping you decide if this product's right for you. So let's start off this review, taking a look at the actual device, and I'll talk about how it works. Now this is the case, it's a very nice case. I love that it comes with a little uh, strap here, so you can um, hang this on your backpack or whatever. USB-C charging, love that they didn't skimp on the charging port and try to go with micro USB or anything. USB-C is the standard, everything should be on that. A little flip up clamshell type design. Let's grab one, oop, let's grab one of the wireless earbuds. Now, as you can see, sorry, that's really a loud case. It's a very standard wireless earbud here. You put it in your ear, kind of lock in place. Sticks out just slightly. I do like the elongated form of this. Seems to fit my ear very well. Instead of pressing too wide, it seems like it runs north-south a little bit here in my head. Fits in very comfortably with it. And it has very nice touch controls on the side here with that. It does have three different size um, rubber earpieces here. I personally really prefer the rubber earpieces. I love how it allows you to um, conform to your ears. Everybody's ears are different. You may prefer maybe the hard-sided ones. That's really a personal preference thing. But they have a small, medium, and large size to adjust to however your ears are. It comes pre-installed with a medium. And then in the little pouch, you get a small and a medium size rubber earpiece. I find the medium works just well for me, and I'm very happy with it overall. So with that said, let's show you everything that came with these wireless earbuds, and I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of this. Starting off with the battery life. Now, this is nine hours advertised battery life. Now, when you hear advertised battery life, remember that always is tip, I don't know about always, but typically measured at about 50% volume. So if you're blasting the volume at 100%, not good for your ears probably, warning, but it will drain the battery faster. I will say nine hours of battery life at about 50% does seem consistent with our testing. There's over 28 hours of total battery life if you count in the case. So you take these out of your ears, you plug them into the case, and you're good. I think for most people, nine hours is a very good battery length for a set of budget wireless earbuds to do, you know, maybe you're going for a long walk, run, and more. Now, audio quality on this is good. It's no Bose Wave radio, it's no Beats audio, whatever it may be, high-end ones here, but for audiobooks, podcasts, basic music listening, it's great. Now, I'm not a high-end audiophile. I can't tell lossless audio always from MP3. I'm not that attuned to audio. People who are are probably not gonna be very happy with these. But if you're looking for something that you can maybe give to your kids, your teens that always lose their wireless earbuds and not worry about that, it's a pretty good. Good quality audio for music, good quality, excellent quality audio, I should say, for audiobooks, podcasts, and the like. Also, phone calls on this are very good. Uses an AI technology, two microphones to help um, focus on you and eliminate background noise with it. And when I tested this both inside and out on phone calls, I was very pleased with the audio quality. So overall, two thumbs up for, for the audio quality. Battery life is good, especially at the price point. If you're looking for a budget-friendly set of wireless earbuds, maybe they're a backup set you're gonna keep in your car so you don't forget about them or in your backpacks, so you always have one with you. Maybe it's one you wanna give to your kids that you're not gonna worry about if they lose them or drop them in the pool or whatever may happen. I have kids, I understand. Then these are great. So, for the understanding that we're comparing these to similar budget-friendly set of wireless earbuds, and we're not trying to compare these to wireless earbuds that are five or six times more expensive, these are excellent. Now there is no noise cancellation, which is fine. Honestly, the good tight fit here, I had no problems with it. It was perfect for when going on walks. Honestly, when you're in a big city or going for walks, it's kind of nice to hear cars and more coming up behind you. So two thumbs up on this. 
I would recommend this. Um, I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll love to hear from you. If you're new here, again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Until next time, take care. Be safe. I'll be back again real soon.